Hey guys, welcome back again. In this video, we look at getting started with JavaScript on Visual Studio. But before I get started, this for beginners, uh, if you don't know anything about JavaScript, yeah, I'll, I'll talk briefly about JavaScript. While the most common scripting language, ECMA script, most widely known as JavaScript, is developed by ECMA, a grid of a great of many of the APL, APIs made available in browsers have been defined at W3C. Now, first of all, what is scripting? A script is a program code that doesn't need pre-processing, example, compiling, before being run. In the context of a web browser, scripting usually refers to a, pro a program code written in JavaScript that is executed by the browser when a page is downloaded or in response to an event triggered by the user. Scripting can make web pages more dynamic. For example, without reloading a new version of the page, it may allow modification to the content of that page or allow content to be added to or sent from that page. The former has been called um, DHTML, DH Dynamic HTML, and the latter as Asia, as, as the IE, Asynchronous JavaScript, and XML. Um, scripts increasingly allow developers to create a bridge between the browser and the platform it is running on, making it possible, for example, to create web pages that incorporate information from the user's environment, such as current location, address book details, etc. This additional interactivity makes web pages behave like a traditional software application. These web pages are often called web application and can be made available either directly in the browser as a web page or can be packaged and distributed as widgets. So, rather than just, just talking on this too much, we will we, uh, we will look at how we can get started with JavaScript in Visual Studio. So first, we're just gonna go to open. Uh, we can open a new site. So from my eyes, I've got a new, I've got a, so a site already created. Um, Hello world or first site. So we're just gonna look at the first site, right? So we've got it open, but before we go ahead, we we just act. Uh, we just look at scripting interfaces and what which ones are available. The most basic, the most basic scripting interface developed at W3C is the DOM, the Document Object Model, which allows programs and scripts to dynamically assist and update the content, st structure, and style of the document. DOM specifications form the core of DH DHATML. Modification of the content using the DOM by the user and by script trigger events that developers can make use of to build a rich user interface. A number of more advanced interfaces are being standardized. For instance, XML HTTP request makes it possible to load additional content from the web without loading a new document, a core component of the Ajax. The geolocation API makes the user's current location available to browser-based applications. Several APIs make the integration of web applications with the local file system and storage seamless. So, we will look at just getting started with the JavaScript, right? So, as you can see, I've got um, I've got an HTML file here. I'm just gonna open so you can easily add JavaScript code here yeah, to an HTML document right inside like the one I've done with a, with a style here you can easily do it like right by denoting 
opening um the, the less than and, and greater than sign and then writing script so you, you and then the attribute type is set to test forward slash javascript so now you can add your javascript here so we're gonna add, do something very simple so inside our h1 here we're gonna add an id so we're just gonna call it main test so we're just gonna add one button here and then this button um, we're gonna call it uh, we're gonna set an id and we're just gonna call it button and we're gonna value set this value to click me and then type this button still so that's what we're gonna do here so it's very simple stuff here so we, before we add the javascript we're just gonna we're just gonna run it to see so as you can see this is what we got so far right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add this you, you're gonna add a open and close script sign here and the type is javascript test javascript so uh, i just change this this is the few changes that we're gonna make here so first we're gonna call our document which is the HTML file, right? And then we got we, we get element by ID. So now we're gonna we're gonna grab the element button. And we're gonna add a click and an, an event listener. So the, the event we're going to listen to is a click. And then we're gonna write this small function what to happen when the event happens so we're gonna say we're just gonna say alert hello world so that's all we're gonna do for here now we save it then we run it again click it hello world up yet so we can we can start the button a bit so we're just gonna add a style to the button so we set the, the height to 200 pixel and the width 400 ps background red and the color white so we can check the, the we can change the background to some different color so we're just gonna change that to green so we save it, we run it again. Well, I mean, it's, it's a very big button, but obviously that we know what we're looking at, right? So the next bit is, of course, we can add a folder that will contain our JavaScript file separately. So I've added a new folder called JS. So what we do is add a new file, a new item. And we're gonna add a JavaScript file. We're just gonna call it main 
Node.js. So now we've got the JavaScript. So we're just gonna do split the screen. So here we we're gonna copy this bit here. And we're gonna put it here. So we remove this this part here. So now what we do is we save the JavaScript here. And instead drag it from the solution and drop it here so once you do that as you can see we've got the we've got it referenced so whatever we do here so we're just gonna put something different here pp ot whatever ppt whatever just just to just to show you what what i'm trying to talk about here so we save both of them so now we open it here yeah. fresh click on it again so as you can see hello world ppt so as you can see it's, it's pretty simple to get started so i hope as i've let you from here you can you'll be able to go ahead and do whatever you want to do if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because i've got a lot of videos coming up wherever you are good morning afternoon peace bye bye